Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to the interview Liam McEwan did with BTS. Um, I don't know why my voice went weird then. <laughs> if you don't know, which most of you probably already do, Liam did an interview with them last year when they went to the BBMAs and also when they went to the AMAs. I believe he only did like a on the red carpet one for the AMAs, which was kind of like disappointing, I guess, because we couldn't get him to actually sit down with them. But now we have him sitting down with them and I'm very excited to watch this because he was personally my favorite interviewer from the last uh in last time they were in america um because he he went through like the unicef like the charity work they did with the uh, donating rice i think it was um he just he's very thorough with his interviews uh you can tell he actually does his research beforehand he doesn't just go into it blindly with probably the same old questions and he gave us some quality content to watch because he gave he asked questions that no no other interviewer had asked before BCS, it is a pleasure to be reunited welcome back to los angeles Oh. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> of course he is, Jin. See, it's going to be a bit difficult reading my questions because there's photos of you all over the spot. So, oh. yeah, we're going we're gonna to bear with that. Thank you. Thank all right, you. well, congratulations. Love yourself, Tia. A huge album. Looking forward to hearing it. Now, the last time we met, RM, it was at the AMAs. Yes. And you said, I quote, Love is the key for the integration of all of society. Right. Now, what kind of message are you trying to send with this new era of love yourself? So, Good question. Um, basically, love is a complex, right? And there are sort of some sides that make us really feel bad. Or no, I hope we just like stared at him then. Me. <laughs> so, this time we want to focus on some some of the parts of love that we want to like run away from. Mm -hmm. And so, the name is Tyr. So then. Single titles, the name is going to be the big love. Like, so, we want to say that if you're untrue to yourself, the love won't last. And the love could be, okay. um, could be between a person and a person, but it could be between me and myself. Beautiful. So, I love that. It. And of course, V, did you feel the pressure releasing Singularity? It, it is the first song of this album. Uh, you kind of set the tone for everything. Was that a lot of pressure for you? I imagine it was. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Jim mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is very difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very hard. It was a weird feeling to not have the group around you. <laughs> Jim is like, well done. <laughs> he, he went hard in that. Kung Kung. Of course, let's talk about the the meanings of your songs. Of course, you were talking about that earlier. Do you feel a moral obligation as a successful group internationally around the world to do social conscious songs? Should this be like a necessity for people uh, with your level of fame. They keep looking off to the side. I think they have like a translator on the side. <laughs> well said, well said. I love how he actually made his notes in that notebook and he's not just using it as like a prop. <laughs> um, what are you most excited for ARMY to experience uh, during this new era of BTS? Because the band has changed a lot since the very beginning. New visual. New visual. New visual. New glasses. New glasses. Always change. Always change. That hair flip. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really like Tay's mullet at first. I was like, no, this doesn't suit him. But the more I see him with it, the more I actually am starting to like it on him. What would you say has been your biggest change as a band? Look at his shape. He's been working out. He oh. Good. Yeah, he was like a small child when we first saw a him. small child. But now he's like, a, he's like the... He's like the Biggest man in the... Is he okay? He's the biggest team? man, yeah. You, yeah. Don't want to, you don't want to go against him. I've got nothing. Look at this. There's nothing there, <laughs> yeah, so you're doing well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just... We're... Namjoon, you're a liar. I've seen those biceps. You ain't fooling no one. I mean, look at his hair. Yeah, Beautiful hair. Yeah, Lots of changes. Face. Look at your face. <laughs> look at my face. Um, now, if you could say something to yourselves back in 2013. Right. 
what would you say? Would you have any advice for yourself? Because I'm sure you would have had no idea that things were going to go this way for you. <sighs> please study English. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please, please study, study English. English. Yeah. Study English. And Japanese too. Yeah. Please. Hey, J O, your hope is big energy. Cheer up. Cheer up. Oh. <laughs> uh, give your hope for all the people. Hey, Namjoon, don't name yourself a rap monster. You're a human. Yeah, you're <laughs> not a monster. Yeah. You're not a monster, you're a okay? You're a beautiful But you're a monster, but... Okay, sorry. That's not so. <laughs> I love you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I love you, too. <laughs> Even though it wasn't directed at me. Do your best. Hey, Jimin. You're nice. Nice. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Hey, Jimin. Let's practice hard. <laughs> But he say please study English. Me too. Yeah, lovely. Me too. Charity work is a huge thing. Here we go. This is what I mean. We spoke about UNICEF. He really is the best interviewer. But it's not only you that are giving back. Your fans, the army, have been inspired by you to give back. I've seen, you know, fan projects where people are giving thousands of dollars to charities, in particular UNICEF. Why do you think it's so important? No, I'm doing keeps doing exactly what I'm doing. Like I keep going, like I'm actually there, but like I'm not. Sometimes we truly feel like we getting so much love like even more than we deserve so it's important to give back for you know for some people the bit where he said some he's getting more love than he deserves you know, love mm -mm. Mm -mm. they deserve more than like they get a, like a resource mm -hmm. can can like give back and back and back and like all over the world right so we just feel like it's it's really important to give back absolutely now we met this time last year for the first time and i asked what the next step was for BTS and Sugar said that the goal was to perform at the Billboard Music Awards yeah. and look where and we are now, right? Okay. They made so it. what's the next, next step for BTS? Next step. Yeah, the next, the next step. <laughs> next step. Yeah. See what I mean? He's just as extra as they are, which is why they get on so well and why he is one of my favourite interviews. Like, look at that. Look at the way he made them all laugh. Except from Tay, he's staring right into my soul. <laughs> Maybe... <laughs> oh. oh. If Min Yoongi says he wants a Grammy, we are going to give him a damn Grammy. Watch, watch us, bitch. We'll get you that Grammy. Grammy is like a whole nother world. So, okay, like, I think, I think he, I think he said it first time. Right yeah. So, yeah, is that joking, baby? No, I don't think he is. Know you for so many different things. There are so many reasons why the army love you. But if there was just one thing that you want BTS to be remembered for, say in 20 years time, what would that thing be? I really like the questions he asks as well. Oh. I know that's what the army are going to remember you for. The army are super proud of you. Congratulations on the new album. Congratulations on Hope World. Hey! Liam is the best. Oh, are these the donuts? <gasps> I saw the picture on Twitter. Oh, I see that it says love Liam there. Oh, they're the um, BT21 characters. That's so cute. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. looks like. <laughs> Okay guys, that was my reaction to Liam McEwen interview. I don't know if I'm saying his second name right, I hope I am. Interview with BTS. Honestly, like, without a shadow of a doubt, he has been the best interviewer so far. I've only watched about five others off camera. Um, but again, he just, he asks the questions that interviewers should be asking. Like, this should be the standard of an interview. He shouldn't be like, the best interviewer. This should be the standard of a regular interview. But the standard for interviews are so low. Like, asking questions like, Oh, do you date? Or what does this song mean? Like, which obviously he did ask what the album means, but that he the way he worded it was a lot better than just saying what does this song mean? You know what I mean? Because a lot of their songs, even if you only know them for a month or like a couple of weeks, you'll know that their songs aren't just about one strict thing. That you can kind of interpret them the way you want to. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs> I'm